dear students welcome to hamad's biology online lecture room my name is hamad ahmed jan lecturer in botany qurtaba university of science and information technology peshawar campus hyderabad peshawar in this video lecture we will discuss microscope and its history microscope first definition the word microscope is derived from two greek words micro which means small and scope means to look at microscope is an instrument that produces enlarged images of small objects allowing the observer an exceedingly close view of minute structures at a scale convenient for examination and analysis microscopy microscopy is the technical field of using microscopes to view objects and parts of objects that cannot be seen with the naked eye objects that are not within the resolution range of the normal eye parts of microscope basic parts of the microscope are eyepiece lens the lens at the top that you look through they are usually 10x or 15x power tube connected connects the eyepiece to the object lenses arm supports the tube and connects it to the base base the bottom of the microscope used for support illuminator a steady light source used in place of a mirror if your microscope has a mirror it is used to reflect light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage stage the flat platform where you place your slides stage clips hold the slides in place if your microscope has a mechanical stage you will be able to move the slide around by turning two knobs one moves it left and right the other moves it up and down revolving nose piece or turret this is the part that holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to easily change power objective lenses usually you will find three or four objective lenses on a microscope they almost always consist of 4x 10x 40x and 100x powers when coupled with a 10x most common eyepiece lens we get total magnification of 40x 40x times 10x times 100x 400x and 1000x to have good resolution at 1000x you will need a relatively sophisticated microscope with an abi condenser rake stop this is an adjustment that determines how close the 
objective lens can get to the slide. It is set at the factory and keeps students from cracking the high power objective lens down into the slide and breaking things. You would only need to adjust this if you were using very thin slides and you were not able to focus on the specimen at high power. Condenser lens. The purpose of the condenser lens is to focus the light onto the specimen. Condenser lenses are most useful at the highest powers, 400x and above. Microscopes within stage condenser lenses render a sharper image than those with no lens at 400x. Diaphragm or RS. Many microscopes have a rotating disc under the stage. This diaphragm has different sized holes and is used to vary the intensity and size of the cone of light that is projected upward into the slide. There is no set rule regarding which setting to use for a particular power. Rather, the setting is a function of the transparency of the specimen, the degree of contrast you desire, and the particular object lens in use. History of Microscope In 14th century, spectacles first made in Italy. In 1590, Two Dutch spectacle makers and father and son team Hans and Zacharias Jensen created the first microscope. In 1667, Robert Hooke's famous micrographia is published, which outlines Hooke's various study using the microscope. In 1675, enter Anton van Leeuwen Hoek, who used a microscope with one lens to observe insects and other specimen. Leeuwen Hoek was the first to observe bacteria. In 18th century, a technology improved microscopy became more popular among scientists. Part of this was due to the discovery that combining two types of glass reduced the chromatic effect. In 1830, Joseph Jackson Lister discovers that using weak lenses together at various distances provided clear magnification. In 1878, a mathematical theory linking resolution to light wavelength is invented by Ernst Abbey. 1903, Richard Zygmunde invented invents the ultra microscope which allows for observation of specimens below the wavelength of light. In 1932, transparent biological materials are studied for the first time using first Zirinix invention of the phase contrast microscope. In 1938, just six years after the invention of the phase contrast microscope, comes the electron microscope developed by Ernst Ruska, who realized that using electrons in microscopy enhanced resolution. 
in 1981 3d specimen images possible with the invention of the scanning tuning microscope by Jard Benning and Heinrich Rohrer. Thank you for watching the video.